Hi, I'm Miss Sarah, and this is At Home Makerspace, where every week we show you how to make fun projects with things you can find at home. Since our summer read program has ended, I thought it would be fun for the rest of the summer to do something I'm calling our tween takeover. I've invited members of our library's tween interest group, which is a volunteer group for fourth, fifth, and sixth graders to make some of their own at-home makerspace videos to share with all of you. Now, if you'd like to learn more about our tween interest group, stay tuned until the end of this video. Now, I'd like to turn things over to two of our volunteers, Annabelle and Lucille, who will be showing us how to make paint with common household ingredients. Let's see how it's done. Hey guys, today we're going to be teaching you how to make... One thing that might be helpful is putting your hair back if your hair is long because you don't want to get anything in your hair. Let's get started with the things we're going to be needing. Okay, so you're going to be needing some paper, a measuring spoon, um, make sure it's a teaspoon and tablespoon, a white crayon, and then any type of white glue. We got ours from the Dollar Tree. You will also be needing a bowl and a spoon, any flavor slash type of gelatin, water. Okay, so let's get started to making this. You can make as many batches as you want, but we already made a batch right here, but we're gonna be making another batch for example. But every single batch is going to need one teaspoon of water. And also one tablespoon of white glue. Feel free to scrape the measuring spoon to get all the excess glue out. Now we mix it together. It should look like a soupy glue texture. Now we're gonna take our gelatin out and we're going to add three fourths, this is lime, but now we're going to add three fourths a teaspoon so. of the gelatin powder. Um, if you have a fourth teaspoon measure, you just add three of these. Other than that, you just do three fourths away full. When you add in the lime jello, at least, I'm not sure about the other ones, it changes color. It looks super, super cool. Yeah. Now we're gonna mix it together. Now our paint is all ready to be used. So you're gonna take your white crayon and draw a border of what you want your thing to look like because it's kind of going to be like a border so that the paint doesn't go over the edge. We'll be back once we're done. Okay, so we just did our paintings. You should definitely use a paintbrush, but we couldn't find one, so we had to use our fingers and a spoon, but it still turned out, so we will be back once they are all done. We don't know the drying time yet, so we'll let you know when they're dry and how long it took. Thanks, Annabelle and Lucille. We hope you guys enjoyed seeing how to make paint with some common household ingredients. Now, if your household doesn't happen to have any gelatin, you can feel free to substitute another ingredient in its place. Something like a Kool-Aid mix or a lemonade mix would work just fine. Or you could also use some food coloring. Just make sure you only use a few drops of the food coloring rather than that three quarters teaspoon. That would just be way too much food coloring. If you make any paintings with your homemade paint, please share them with us at the library. You can do so through our Facebook at www.facebook.com FHCPL, through our Instagram, our handle is at FHCPL, or you can send us an email. Our email address is makerspace at finleylibrary.org. We hope you guys enjoyed the first of our three tween takeover videos. If, like Annabelle and Lucille, you don't happen to have a paintbrush at home, then you'll definitely want to tune in again next week where a volunteer will be showing us a painting technique that doesn't use any paintbrushes. We hope to see you there. Bye! If you're still watching, then you're probably interested in learning more about our tween interest group. 
This is a volunteer group for 4th, 5th, and 6th graders who volunteer two hours a month at the library. They help us out with things like planning programming, running programs, putting together displays, and all sorts of other volunteer opportunities. If you're interested in applying to be a member of the Tween Interest Group, you can email me at makerspace at finleylibrary.org and I'll be happy to send you an application and answer any other questions that you might have.